<laughs> yes. Actually, yesterday I was in a in a concert with one of your ex mates. Also, is uh, George Michael, and yeah. he's playing with the Devil's Train now. When he was playing right, in Spain, right. exactly. And it was a, a very intimate concert because there were only like uh, 30 people. And uh, and I was speaking with him, and he was like, he was telling me that it's like a new start for him, and that he was pleased. Doing what he's doing. So, do you imagine yourself uh, doing something like that, like starting a new project with another name and doing small clubs in in this kind of country? Well, if I if I would do shows, I would think I would just go as a solo artist because I had two groups. I had Revolution Renaissance and uh, Symphonia. Yeah. And they they both failed. Yeah. So if I would, I don't mind playing to small clubs, you know. Yeah. So. Uh, it, it could very well happen. There is also um, a chance that we will tour with uh, with uh, this new project. Right. So, but it depends on of the leading ladies. They have to be available, and now floor is very oc- occupied with Nightwish, and yeah. Elise is very oc- occupied with Amaranti. So, yeah. it would have to be, you know. So we will we're gonna try to, to take the the metal opera on tour right. probably around third third uh, release exactly so well um for example if if floor release is not available to do a tour uh, um would you consider take a uh, other vocalist when you uh, with you on tour no it has to be it has to be somebody who is singing on the record yeah. but it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense Right. So there has to be a leading, a leading lady. Yeah. When you when you wrote and composed those songs, uh, were you thinking in them in particular uh, before writing the songs, or did you just write and then think about the the perfect vocalist to to do the songs? Everything. I mean, um, I actually flew to Athens, Greece, yes. on on uh, October last year to compose the album. Yeah, and uh, I had all the vocalists, but by then I knew, so it it was easier to compose when you knew whom you were composing. So it, it it was like this was the procedure. I went there and I, I was there two weeks and I I wrote like basic forms of the songs. Yeah, and, and you know that was a good trip. <laughs> okay, so before you mentioned Revolution, Renaissance, and Symphonia were two of your projects. Oh, actually, yeah. in particular for me, I really enjoyed the Symphonia album, right? Um, why do you think those projects fail? Because the music is, it was you, it was you playing, it was the thing that you always play, and it was really good. Why do you think people didn't, I don't know, maybe it's people, like, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe people I'm, didn't I'm get it, thinking. or, yeah. I'm still thinking what what it was because we put everything on that band really. And yeah. You know, you would think that that kind of thing would be successful, but it wasn't. And I, I was very surprised about that and sad as well. So uh, it, it was a very big disappointment for me. Yeah. Well, talking about sadness. Um. Well, you know, you are a, a very well-known musician especially in power metal, but in metal genre in general, um, mm. you have a successful career with uh, almost everything you have yeah. you have done. So there will be a plenty of joy in your if you take a look back from previous years. But um, do you remember the, the saddest day of your life as a musician? Saddest day of my life as a musician was... Exactly, exactly the day when I left Sotovarius, but the guys didn't know that I left, and that that actually happened in Madrid. Yeah, there was a city festival, and we played a gig there, and I had decided already to leave the band, but I didn't want to tell the guys to spoil the mood. Right. So I told them later that must be the saddest, oh. saddest point. Right. Well, you know, like a. Uh... Stratovarius and you will people always associate you with Stratovarius. Do you think that is a, a bad thing? That it's like a ghost that will follow you even if you are now in your solo project or doing other bands? Well, it's 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 a, it's a ghost, all right. I mean, it, it, it's 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 uh, 
23 years of my life. Yeah. So we did amazing things. And, and uh, in the 90s, like those tours we did, what kind of places we played and what kind of energy we were creating, that was just unbelievable. But <laughs> the, memories, the memories stay there. And maybe one day still we can play together, you know. Yeah. You never know. When, when enough time has passed and you get old enough. Exactly. Maybe we can still do something together. So you have no hard feelings for your for your ex mate I love I love this I love these guys I and mean, I miss them. Yeah. It's like a very sad thing. All right. Well talking about Angels of the Apocalypse again, you have eleven songs on this album and you say it's a trilogy. Mm, did you leave any songs uh behind because they were not uh, suitable for this part or they were not good? There was one song that was left out because it didn't fit to the story really. So, But I pretty much used all the songs I composed. All right. <laughs> 